The Creative Grids 45 double strip ruler is one of a series of rulers that was created by Rachel Cross to make it possible to sew intricate blocks very easily that are cut from strips of fabric and those units are sewn together to make a quilt. In this particular case, the side here that is the actual ruler size measures two and a half inches wide and the top is four and a half inches. Because I can sew together two two and a half strips, there is a dash line right here that I would put over my seam line and then I can cut that strip set into my half square triangle units to create very complicated looking blocks, but they go together very quickly. In this case, I combine two two and a half inch strips to create a four and a half inch wide piece to do my cutting, but I don't have to limit myself to two two and a half inch strips. I could substitute two one and a half inch strips, which would create a two and a half inch strip to sew to one two and a half inch strip, or I could combine four one and a half inch strips to create my block. So in this case, there is a dash line on the ruler, and I would place that dash line on my seam line and then rotary cut the angles to create individual units like this. If I want to create a block that looks like this one, I need mirror images of this piece. So when I am doing that, I would just simply turn the fabric over, place the ruler on the wrong side of the fabric, match the dash line up with the seam line and cut again and that will give me the mirror images of these rulers, or of these uh, half square triangles that I need to create these individual units that are on this block. So in this case, right side up I would get that unit and when I cut the fabric from the wrong side up I would get this. I would simply sew that seam which would give me this finished square that could be all I'm going to use on my project or I can put four of those together to create this additional pinwheel shape. I can also sew strip sets together. So if I take two two and a half inch strips of fabric and sew the top and the bottom, I can create a tube. So there is a seam here and a seam here. Again, I am going to take my ruler place it on the seam line, but now when I cut these with the rotary cutter, I will have a little bit of a seam at the top of these units. And when I go to open them, I'll simply pull that apart that easily, and I've created a quarter square triangle. I've created a quarter square triangle that has four individual pieces. So in that case, I can sew those together to make a block that looks like this, because see here is half of the block. And that fast and that quickly, I've created a very intricate block that has eight pieces but only took two cuts of a ruler.